Writing programs for FreeDOS doesn't always have to mean uh, using C and assembly. You can use really whatever programming language you like. We include a number of different programming languages on the FreeDOS distribution, and I want to show just one of them today. Uh, if you're familiar with the basic programming languages, you, you might find the Bywater Basic or BW Basic uh, interpreter very familiar on FreeDOS. So I wanted to show that off. Uh, you can see here that uh, I've got a very uh, sort of basic install of uh, FreeDOS 1.0. Uh, RC2. Uh, if you do FD impuls, uh, you can see really it's just the, the base install with a couple other packages installed, one of which is uh, BW Basic or Bywater Basic. Uh, if I tab down to the bottom, you can see there's, there's not a lot of files in here, just 13 files. Uh, so it's a fairly uh, small program. Uh, you can do a lot with it. So it gets installed under uh, Devel and then under BW Basic. So let's go ahead and go under BW Basic. We'll do a dir. You can see that the, the program here is just BW Basic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run that. BW Basic. Uh, this is the splash screen or welcome screen for Bywater Basic. Uh, and here you can just go ahead and start writing your program right away. Um, you can uh, just do a, a simple program here. I'm going to do uh, 10. Uh, we'll do print hello world uh, and if I do a list, you can see there's my program, so I can run that. And there's Hello World. Uh, if I want to make that into the uh, sort of infamous uh, 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 infinite loop, I can do uh, 20, uh, go to 10. Right, and now if I do a list, you can see it's going to print Hello World, going to go back to 10 and print Hello World, and so on, and will until I hit Control C. So if I run that, uh, you can see I'm just getting Hello World uh, scrolling up through the screen. So you can write really whatever program you like. You can do it inside uh, the BW Basic, or if I quit this, if I do quit, um, you can actually run other programs that have been uh, included, or, or anything you have as a, a basic file. Uh, BW Basic includes the example.basic file. So let's go ahead and type that out, example.bas. It's a very uh, short program. Uh, and uh, if I run that with bwbasic example.bas, you can see it's just printing out uh, the results of, of, uh, of that program. Uh, on our FreeDOS files archive on Inbiblio, uh, I wrote long ago uh, some very simple basic programs that you can run in BW Basic. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description. Uh, here I've installed it and, uh, under my uh, basic directory. These are very simple programs uh, just to provide something uh, for people to use uh, in BW Basic. Uh, so if I run uh, BW Basic um, and then I give it the file of uh, guess.bas. This is a simple guessing, uh, guess the number game. Uh, anywhere between 1 to 100. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick uh, 50. Uh, that's too high, so we're going to go ahead and pick, uh, let's just say 1. Uh, that's too low, so now I know it's somewhere between 1 and 50. Uh, I'll do 25 right in the middle. That's too low, so it's between 1 and 25. We'll pick, I don't know, let's pick 10. Uh, that's too low, so it's between uh, 10 and uh, uh, oh, actually, I'm sorry. It's uh, uh, it's between uh, 25 and, and 50. So let's go ahead and do uh, 40. Uh, that's too low, so we'll do 45. That's too high, so now I get to kind of walk myself back. We'll do 42. Uh, we'll do 43. 43 is the correct number. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit out of that. So that's that's one example we have in uh, in the sample basic program. Uh, what else do we have in the uh, uh, basic? We have a, uh, a lemon.bas. Let's go ahead and run that. BW basic, and then basic uh, lemon.bas. This is a very simple lemonade stand game uh, that I wrote again long ago. I don't even remember how to play it anymore. Rather, I don't remember kind of what the what the fine tuning is. Uh, you can see here that uh, making a glass of lemonade is going to cost you uh, ten cents each. Uh, you have 20 days to kind of make it with your lemonade stand. Uh, you're going to get 10 bucks to, uh, to start with, uh, and it's going to tell you at the bottom here um, what the temperature is uh, and what, what the temperature tomorrow is going to be and then what the chance of rain is going to be. Uh, so how many glasses do I want to make? Uh, let's make, uh, fi I don't know, 50 glasses. And what am I going to charge uh, per glass in cents? Well, it costs 10 cents to make one, so let's go ahead and charge 20. Um, 
and ooh, I didn't sell nearly enough. So I've only sold 36 glasses uh, at 20 cents. Uh, tomorrow's going to be uh, kind of a warm day. We'll go ahead and do uh, let's do let's do th uh, 40, um, and we'll charge the 20 cents again. That seems to work out pretty well. Um, I ooh, I only sold four glasses. Ooh, wow. Um, Okay, I, I'm, I'm down to nine dollars. Uh, let's go ahead and and try to sell um, uh, let's, let's let's sell 30, but we'll go ahead and, and charge 15 cents per glass. So we're gonna kind of drop our price and because uh, it's a uh, Wow, I shouldn't have made 50 because it's only gonna be 68, but let's go ahead and try it anyway um, Oh, I sold 45 glasses uh, at 15 cents. That's pretty good So I actually made some money and so you can see this as you kind of go through the game uh, it's just a matter of uh, are you making more money or not? Um, and so I'm just gonna do control C to get out of that. That's a kind of a neat little game to play uh, And then one other game I've got on here uh, Under basic is uh, this program called Taz. So BW basic and then basic Taz.bas uh, this is a very simple game uh, where you are uh, the president of a tiny country, uh, an agrarian country, and you need to basically feed your people and uh, plant more food. And again, I it's been so long, I don't remember exactly how to fine tune the values on this one, so I'm kind of making this up uh, as I go along. So you need to make it for 10 years, basically. Uh, how many bushels do I need to feed my people? How many bushels feed, a peep, uh, feed one person? I have no idea. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, give them uh, I don't know 50 bushels uh, How many acres am I going to plant? Uh, let's try to plant uh, uh, I don't know let's plant let's plant uh, 10 acres. That's that's pretty big uh, Wow, some people died of starvation. So clearly we need more than uh, a two to one on the uh, on the bushels to people uh, some babies were born, so that's great. Uh, some rats ate some of my seeds, that's not great. Uh, we lost some uh, some food because of a food blight, so uh, the numbers kind of fluctuate a little bit. Uh, as I recall, these are all random numbers in terms of uh, babies being born and rats being uh, eating some in your food and, and the food blight. Uh, so let's go ahead and feed. Uh, well, let's 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 try one to one. We'll, we'll feed 87 bushels for 87 people. Uh, we're gonna plant. Um, well, uh, let's let's plant uh, uh, ten acres again. I wasn't overworking them, so that's good. So this is growing, um, but uh, um, looks like uh, I died. Had people died from plague. Otherwise, did okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that again. Let's feed uh, one one to one uh, seventy nine. Oh, I don't have that many bushels. Uh, well, let's do sixty eight. Let's see how that goes. Um, and let's go ahead and plant uh, 10 acres. Uh, okay, so in this case, um, uh, babies were born, uh, rats ate some seeds, there was a food blight. Uh, so I, I added some people. Um, my bushels are still going down. Uh, and as you can kind of see, the, the point of the game is to uh, kind of make it uh, through those 10 years. So I'll just do control C to get out of that. I just wanted to show uh, some of the things you can do in uh, in Bywater Basic. Uh, you can write your own programs. Uh, you can run them in the interpreter or you can run them from the command line. So what do you think about that quick introduction to using Bywater Basic? Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Uh, also visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.